sci-fi. So the, um, the project was to come up with concept characters, vehicles, environments, and sketches for a futuristic NASCAR race. So that would be this guy right here was the one that we picked from your sheet. So, all right, here we go. Thank you. All right, uh, the next runner up would be specifically this one right here. Um, who, who created this one? Oh, all right, so Alexis Harrington. Specifically for, specifically for your chicken looking uh, racer right here, so. Chicken rat king thing, yes. <laughs> Oh, well, 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 yeah, that's why I think I mean, the chicken crossed the road, not drive across the road. Well, there, there's actually a really fun thing about prosthetic legs with Star Fox specifically. It was that the G force would force all the blood into the legs, and so a lot of the, a lot of racers and a lot of um, space people from Star Fox have prosthetic legs just because of the G forces that they experience. So great concept with your character there. <laughs> Part two, the revenge ending. All right, so number three is actually the, uh, the only digital entry we had. Uh, it was Victoria, right? Yes, all right, I remember your name from last night. It was Victoria. Oh, you're right. Do you, do, you, do you happen to have your laptop with you right now? Yes. So we would like for you to come up with the laptop and show off the environment sketch as well. And it was layer 11 was the one here. Yep. <laughs> oh, all right. Quick, kill time. Who are you? All right, well, okay, my name, who am I? Uh, my name is Chris Malone. I'm actually one of the professors over at Kennesaw. And the, um, the great thing about the, um, the panelists that we had today, um, everyone was a professor. So, here we go. oh, here we go. Over this way, give him a shot over here. <laughs> all right, so yeah, one, one of the things that, um, that we loved about it was like just the con like not just the concept, but the composition with it as well. Uh, Victoria was here last night for the portfolio review, and one of the things that she does as an environmental um, uh, like concept artist is that she does she comes up with great designs and just great composition, and has a great sense of leading the eye and showing the viewer ex exactly what she wants them to see. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, you didn't know you were going to win either, so. All right, so second up. So who was the uh, who was the uh, the artist behind this one here? Oh, was Brandon? Was it? All right, so Brandon, come on up here. And Craig, which one was it again? It was the. It was it was the so it was between three of these actually is that um but we, we all settled on this one here your kind of like snake worm dragon design here. <laughs> so yeah, so this was second place guys, so congratulations to Brandon. <laughs> Thank you, dude. All right, and uh, first place we don't have the name for this yet except we have Z Clan here, um the artist behind this. Yep. All right. Specifically, the, um, the scarf guy was what we just called him right yeah, there. But we we. <laughs> but we we. We 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 felt like everything about that design just encompassed uh, what we were looking for, you know, with all the uh, parameters for the concept design contest. So. So way to go, guys! Congratulations. Yay. All right, thank you very much for everyone who uh, everyone who spent the last hour and a half with us. And there's a second contest, you said, or yes, yeah. Dr. The Indie Cluster. All right, the Indie Cluster. Yay. Ron? Did we lose him, Ron? Let's come over here. You want me? Okay. Um, in, in front of the what? The sponsored stuff. This siege? Oh, Red Bull. Oh, <laughs> Red Bull. Yeah. Um, okay, so the Sylvia Award started four years ago or three years ago? Four years? Four or three? Anyways, it's named after um, 
a guy who's not here today, but I, am, I, I always mention his name. His name is Chip Sylvie, one of the nicest guys I've ever met. And uh, it somehow developed or morphed, I think, because of Andrew into the Silvery Award. <laughs> Is that what it was originally? Then Shorten, and then and then Shorten to Silvery, and I've always thought of it as the Sylvie. Sylvie. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, anyways, Chip Sylvie is a real guy, and he sponsored the he sponsors every year actually, so um, that's it. And I I judged it for three years and ran stuff, so I didn't want to do it this year because I had too much other stuff to do, and um, but I've been sponsoring the cluster and other stuff, so they let me talk. And I'm going to hand it off to this, one of the most impressive young men I've had the pleasure to meet. If he remembers not to squeeze my hand too hard, because he, he always does that. He's a good, good man. Um, and I want to tell you something. I'm going to tell a quick story about you. So I met Ron because I walked into a room and asked for help. And he was the first and maybe only that jumped up to help me. And he didn't know me. He didn't know me, you know, from shit. It was at a game jam or whatever, and he came and helped and helped me solve one little problem. And that's right. Within a year or two from that, I think he started the cluster and, you know, anyways. It's all Joe's fault. No, my point is <laughs> this man knows service. I appreciate service, which is why I love the cluster and I love helping sponsor when I can. So, Yay. that's appreciate it. it, man. <laughs> Ron Jones! Cool. Well, definitely, we always appreciate uh, Joe and his sponsorship and his uh, friendship, guidance, mentorship, all that kind of stuff that he loves to, to throw on us and every now and then and whatnot. Um, can everybody hear me? Um, cool. So uh, this year, as as every year, uh, you know, was amazing, everything like that. Can we get another round of applause for all the games that were oh, in the... Oh, great cluster. Best indie cluster yet ever. Anyway. Cool. So... What um, even though there's been there's always like you know ups and downs when it comes to uh, like a business or or being able to you know do things for for other people. I think the the cluster really found its niche to uh, provide opportunities, um, uh, more so like space at some of these cons and everything like that. And it's been really rewarding, uh, rewarding to see that have an effect on a lot of these uh, uh, developers, uh, mainly local developers and whatnot, um, and just watching people. Uh, watching devs kind of grow, uh, adapt, and be able to graduate, you know, to their own career and whatnot. So that's been really amazing. So love uh, being able to say that uh, I might have uh, been a part of that and watched them grow and everything like that. And I'm um, excited to see you guys keep going forward. So happy for you. So Yay. let me uh, <laughs> give another one. Okay. Um, and then, of course, I want to uh, thank all the uh, last-minute judges that we kind of asked to uh, sacrifice their time to help us out. Um, uh, the GGDA and Andrew, of course, for being a continued sponsor of, of us, as well as the uh, Churwire Interactive. And I think all the boring stuff is out of the way. You so, <laughs> cool. Um, and winners will come up after we announce the team. Just hang out up here for your photos with everybody. Okay. Cool. Okay, cool. Uh, I guess we could start with um, uh, best design. So the first three each get a hundred dollars, and best game gets two hundred and fifty dollars. Again, as you guys know, I'm sure you know, you guys got a chance to play all of the games in there, and they're all really great. Um, they're unique, and it's really, really something I guess that's worth spending your time on and whatnot. Um, wish we could give awards to everybody and watch everybody, you know, make some money and then bring some millions back to the community and whatnot. But, you know, one day, right? But, um, okay, so best design. Uh, we are going to go with uh, actually, um, how do I say this? Uh, one of our uh, new developers, I'll say, this is her first time at, uh, or showing off at Siege, I believe, and the game is called Malintent. Yet. Hey, Hiccup Interactive. Hiccup Interactive.
guys want me to give my little my little pitch? All right. Um, uh, Malintent is a cybersecurity board game uh, where a malicious entity has invaded the network, um, and it will soon self-destruct, destroying all connection to the internet as you know it. So you play as one of four type of hackers in order to either uh, quarantine the virus, overthrow the virus, and replace it as a malicious entity, or s uh, reserve your own connection to the internet, thus protecting your favorite Neko cats and things <laughs> like that. So um, that's my intent. And it debuted at Siege last year. Okay, cool, my mistake, my mistake. So uh, yeah, one more time for Malintent. All right. <laughs> Don't you know the individ individual designer doesn't matter, it's the name of the company? <laughs> cool, uh, so this next award is going to uh, Best Production. Uh, so this is a team that I, um, every time I bump into them, they've uh, been impressive in whether it's uh, their teamwork, collaborative effort, their game itself, and everything like that. And they've actually uh, come a long way. And I'm kind of jealous that, <laughs> like, because they uh, start off as a student team. And I've just, every time I run into them, I'm like, man, I wish I had people when I went to school with that were like this cool and this uh, collaborative and this fun to be around and focused on their goals. So uh, best production uh, this year goes to Justice Rises. Quick blurb about it, quick, quick no blurb about it. Let's go. Very quick. All right, Justice Rises is a superhero action VR game in which you can pick two different powers and combine them in a really unique way uh, that's individual to the player. So it creates endless opportunities for players to combine powers and make really fun, unique superheroes. Yay. Yay. All right, all right. So next category is uh, most fun. And uh, I definitely want to give a, a uh, uh, what, 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 what can we say? A huge, like, standing ovation. We don't have to stand, but that's the kind of energy. Right, that's the kind of energy that is uh, deserving of this this crew because it takes a lot to go from zero to everything to win an award like this, uh, less than a year. So, uh, the category is uh, most fun. And I know personally, I kept telling them that I, uh, every time I saw the game, they added more to it, kept getting more fun. And I really wish that it was out now so I could just throw money at it. <laughs> but um, yeah, Mop Boy. Two seconds, Mop Boy. Um, so Mop Boy is a 2D platformer with RPG elements, and you're basically like a kid, and you work in your family's pizza restaurant fighting evil grease monsters. Hey. So yeah. You have to take pizzas home with you. <laughs> cool. Cool. Congrats, guys. All right, all right, so final word uh, goes to best game, um, best in show, uh, everybody's choice. I'm not really sure of the category, but best game award uh, for this year. Uh, and it actually goes to uh, one of our alums. Uh, we wanted to basically uh, give him the credit for, you know, creating uh, a great game and, and sticking to it and uh, showing that, you know, it takes a lot of uh, energy and effort uh, time and sacrifice to, you know, put that, that, uh, I guess, love into something, watch it manifest and everything like that. And uh, we definitely seen how it's helped. We definitely have an effect, or it, the game definitely has an effect on us. And uh, we can't, can't wait for it to be out and uh, be world famous, make millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. So 
game is called Zat Blastem. Yeah. And uh, congratulations. Get their checks and the rest of you just go do the game design improv. Advance. 